Welcome to Fast Training Week. So Dr. Mindy here, and all this week I am bringing you the science of fasting and which fasts will make you happier. So be sure that you're watching each day. This goes together as a series. And if you need more support as you go through this process, join us in our free Resetter Collaborative. We have an, over 30,000 people over there co uh, collaborating together, cheering each other on. And if you need more guidance this week, join me in my academy where we have our reset guides. Myself, we're all overseeing you as you go through this experience together. We love fasting, we love the science behind fasting, and if you are new to my channel, welcome, subscribe, stay tuned for an incredible fasting ride, and as always, if you love this information, share it out into the world, get your friends and families fasting with you this week, nothing will raise your happiness level like resetting these pathways, getting your neurotransmitters working for you, and dipping into the miracle that you were born to be. Enjoy. Dr. Mindy here, and it is day two of Fast Training Week. We are doing all this week teaching you different fasts that will repair your brain, improve memory, improve focus, and make upregulate those neurotransmitters that make you happy, calm, and clear. So on this day, we are gonna reset our dopamine pathways. And this is crucial, and there's so much to discuss on this. So I'm gonna pare it down very simply. We make 90% of the dopamine in our brain. And what we're finding, research is showing, is that people who tend to hold on to weight, um, some of them have these dopamine pathways that are not working as efficiently. They're not making enough dopamine and they don't have enough receptor sites to receive the dopamine. And because of that, they need to reach for more food, specifically carbs and sugar, to get the same re dopamine response as somebody that has a very good dopamine pathway and getting plenty of dopamine with plenty of receptor sites. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean into a fast that is gonna get you producing more dopamine, improve this dopamine signaling pathway, but also create more receptor sites for you. And as always, I will link the studies proving this in the notes. So what are you doing today? Today you're going to do a 24-hour fast because that's how we reset the dopamine signaling center. And when you break your fast, you're going to break it with a ketobiotic meal. Here's what ketobiotic is. You are going to keep your net carbs under 50 grams. And when you do eat carbs, I want you to lean into carbs like sour, like the polyphenol, probiotic, and prebiotic foods. So sauerkrauts, the kimchi, the vegetables. So I want most of your carbs today, I want you to work on bringing, making them come from vegetables. A little bit of fruit is okay if they can, berries specifically, if it can stay under your 50 net carbs. The other macro you're gonna look at today is protein. So yesterday in autophagy fasting to repair the neurons, we had you stay under 20 grams. Today you're gonna to stay under 50 grams of protein and you're gonna again try to get as much good fat as possible. Can you get over 60% of your food coming today from your good fat? Now, here's the research. So what we are finding is that there is a connection between insulin resistance, leptin resistance, and low dopamine signaling. So today, we are making a massive step forward to improving your insulin sensitivity, your leptin sensitivity, and we're leaning into the 24-hour fast so we can get more of this dopamine produced. What studies are showing is when you restrict food for 24 hours, not only are you making yourself more sensitive to the hormones I talked about, but they are seeing an increase in dopamine production from the substantia nigra, which is the mid part of the brain, plus they're seeing that you make more dope D2 receptor sites, dopamine receptor sites. So today is all about how do we lean into dopamine? Now, as you go along these fasts, it's not gonna feel like you're necessarily getting more dopamine, but remember, we are resetting a system today. So if you hit hour 20 and you're like, oh my God, I'm not feeling happier. 
wait because what you're doing is you're resetting a system that's going to make you happier tomorrow. That's a part of this whole process. Now, a couple things I want to point out to you. If you have a carb addiction, this day is the day I want you to do over and over and over again from this point forward. This is a great way to overcome carb and sugar addiction is this 24 hour fast with ketobiotic. Second thing I want to point out, if you're water fasting today, keep going. You guys are doing great. You're definitely not only getting your autophagy, but you're also getting your uh, dopamine signaling centers. If you're doing our beginner fast, you, I want you to start to realize that after you get this beginner level going, there's a next level and just listen to each day and keep doing the fasting and you will get there. So dopamine, it is your friend, but we've got to reset the pathway so you get more joy from your food and it doesn't take as much food, as many carbs to get that same satisfaction. Dopamine, we love it. Enjoy today.